What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Over 4. In this video we're going to be doing issue 25 of Build the Ector 1. These are the horns and the junction box. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. What we're going to do is we are just going to quickly take them out and we're going to run through the parts list to make sure everything's there and make sure that the parts are not damaged in any way. This shouldn't take too long. It looks like there's a lot of... Uh, screws here for such a small issue so you do get quite a lot on each issue to be fair um, we've got some HP screws so that's always really good so HP screws we have some DP screws so let's just pop those out so DP screws and then we have EM screws which is uh, I can't I like a bit ironic considering it's uh, in the Eagle Moss field uh, so that's EM and then DM screws, the Delta mic uh, screws, which is just going to pop over here out of the way and keep all those together. And then our parts. So we need to just check through our parts. So let's just lift these off and see what we've got. We'll see if there's any of it's metal. So this is metal. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so there's another two pieces in here. There's some really obscure bits. So we're going to have to just go through what we have. So we know the two horns are there. Lovely. Uh, and then there's looks like maybe I don't know what that is actually. We will go through the parts, check off, and then make sure we've got everything that we need. So we'll get the screwdriver so we can point. We need to go back in the magazine, as you know. You need to just reverse back in the magazine just so you can go and check off what parts you might have. So what we need to do is we need to check for stage 25 and see what we have. So 25A is going to be this long metal piece here. That is the radiator beam. 25B are these two pieces here. And they are the radiator beam strut. 25C is the engine left front wall, which is going to be one of these. 25D is going to be the opposite side, the engine right front wall. Uh, 25E is the horn times two, which are going to be um, these two pieces here. And then 25F, the horn bases, which are the two round ones. 25G is the horn bracket one, uh, which is going to be these obscure pieces here, which looks like this. Uh, 25H is the bracket two, which looks like this. And then 25I, um, which is going to be the junction box. That is going to be this weird looking piece here. 25J is a junction box cover, which is going to be that one. And then 25K is going to be the cable. So that's the last bit there. That's the little cable. So make sure we don't lose that. Then we need to flick back to the front of the magazine and go to building horns and junction box on stage 25. The first thing it wants us to do, it wants us to take this metal section here, which is 25A. We want to make sure that the two tab bits are at the top. We're going to lean this on the magazine and do it. And then we want to put 25B and 25B into place so these will sit into place here so there are a couple of little tabs holding those on and you want to make sure that the smaller end of it is facing this way but i will show you what that looks like and what i mean by that in a second so the first thing i'm going to do is just put that into place there take two dm screws i don't think we will need to fast forward through this because it's not going to take long to just plonk a couple of screws to hold these little brackets into place so hopefully we can keep you uh, there while we just do these as you know doing up screws is my pet hate for someone to watch um, but if it doesn't take long then I don't mind um, you know making you guys wait and watch it so there we go so we need to make sure that that's lined up so they do look a bit skew with but that's how it's saying it should look so that's what that should look like at that stage that should be figure a so that's like that so there are a couple of little tabs and that's the way they should be facing there are two dm screws one in that side and one in that side and that's how that should look at that stage the next thing it's asking us to do is to build up figure a again so we need to take this bottom uh, 25, I don't know if that's I or L, I can never tell. So I think it's 25L, and then we need to take J, which is the top one, and then we need to just piece them together. So we're just going to piece that together. There is another little tab to go on top of that as well. That is held in by an HP screw. So we'll just go grab an HP screw here, and that goes just in the bottom there. 
and then we just need to do that up. So that's our HP screw. And then when we've done that, don't do it, don't over tighten it guys, make sure you just do it nicely. That should look something like this. So there you go. So that should look like that at that stage underneath there. Like so, we now need to attach it to this. So it needs to go at the bottom here. So it will fit in there like so. EM screws will hold those into place. There's two of them. Ooh. Two of them want it to come at the same time. So what we'll do is we'll just pop one of those in. That just goes into there. And these are again, remember the EM screws holding that into place. So once you've built that, um, once you've done two figure, well it says figure A and figure A, so once you've done the two figure A's, uh, then you can connect them together using the EM screw. So we'll just pop that together and then show you what that looks like at that stage. So then it should look a little bit like that. So on this other side, it should be at an angle, like so. And then this way around, it should look like that. Once you've done that guys, we're gonna be reverting back around to this side again. And we need to put on one of these junction boxes here. So we need to put 25C, which will be this one. That will need to go into place here. So what we'll need to do is we will need to sit that upright and that will need to go over that. So basically there's a cutout here and that cutout sits on there like that. And then we need to attach it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go grab a couple of DM screws cause that's what it's saying that we need to put them together. Come over here DM screw. So I've got two now and that's what we need. So I'm just going to pop that on the end of the screwdriver. There we go and then line it up and then that should just line up nicely into that hole. So I'm just going to start it off and then get the other one. Like so, we've been quite lucky. We haven't had to fast forward through any of these screws so far. They've gone in really nicely and really easily. And that is exactly what we want when we're doing this. So just screw that down. Try not to let it slip too much guys, because if you let it slip, then you will mess the end of the screws up and you don't want that. So that's perfect, that's in place lovely. So there you go. So that's what that needs to look like at that stage. So it needs to look like this. And then in there, you have the two DM screws holding it down. Again, we will just need to go and repeat that stage on the other side. So that just needs to sit on there like that. They held in again by two DM screws. So we will go ahead and do that. So. You just need to, you're probably better off just putting it down and then just lining them up, putting them in nice and neatly. I need to go get another two DM screws, which I've got just here. I'm going to now put them into place. So I'm just going to stand that up. If you want to, you can put them through and then line them up into the hole. It doesn't really matter what way around you do it. As long as you make sure they go in nice and straight. Because if you start to crush thread them, that's when you will have trouble. Again, I always recommend starting them off first, and then once you've started them off, then go in with the tightness afterwards. But don't tighten them up all the way until you've done both, like a little bit first. So there you go, so they're now into place. So they're the two DM screws. Now we've made what they call figure B. So it should now look like this at that stage. So it should look like that, and then like this, that's way around, then like that and then like that, that side. So you've got it all that way around. So you wanna make sure that that's underneath, so it's like that. Right guys, so the next thing we need to do now is to turn the page and see what else is going on. Looks like we're making up the horns, so that's gonna be quite cool. So we wanna take 25E, 25E is gonna be this one here. We need to take 25F, I don't know whether these are labeled or not, um, or whether they are any different to each other but they might be, so it's probably best to check. That one's got a little nibbly bit on the top of it, so that you want the one um, that has the smaller nibbly bit on, I guess. And then this goes over the top of that. And then it's asking us to take this L bracket here, not the straight one, but the L bracket. And then it's asking us to put this into that hole Right, so first of all, we need to make sure that that lines up into place because there's two little tabs that it goes into. 
right there you go and then when that tab is in place I can't really show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw it into place and then I'm going to show you what it looks like once that's done because that's going to be the best way to do it really and then that goes in like that and that then needs a screw which we can do I'm just double checking that we've got the right one so that's only got a single one and then this one's got one and a little tab so yeah I think we're going to be fine make sure that that's not wrong because that one's got a bigger or a wider hole on there I think they are quite diff difficult to tell them apart uh, which one is which I'm just having a quick look now so if that goes like that goes on there They both look the same, but one of them's got like an oval hole at the bottom. I'm saying that both of them got an oval hole to be fair. That feels like it goes on there a lot better. So to hold that together, we need an HP screw. I was faffing a little bit there when I got it, so I was faffing. These fiddly bits are not good for my fat sausage fingers. Um, where is that? So that goes like that, that's fine. This shows it different because my ones are cut out and whereas the ones that are on there are not cut out. So I'm not really too sure what's going on there. I don't know if you know what I mean by that but the bottom is like oval cut out whereas on the picture it's showing that it's a, it's a sort of circle there you go so that's one bracket done so that's perfect so that's what that should look like at that stage I don't know if you can see it but it looks like that and then it's got that little bracket but on the picture it shows that that's oval but on our ones they're cut out so I'm going to um, make up the other one so while we're here I'm gonna make up the second one because it's fun so that goes up like that there's a little tab that goes at the bottom like so and then that one sits at the top which is fine lovely if we can get it to go there we go oh. I'm going to get it to go right next way. And then, this is so fiddly, guys. Really fiddly. And then this little bracket here will sit on top. I guess like that way around that goes at the bottom and then that goes through that hole and then that goes into there like that so yeah so that's cool so then that's going to be held in by another HP screw so just grab that now get in there so there we go so that's now in place yep so that's what that one should look like at that stage it's really difficult to show you <laughs> but that's what it should look like so what we need to do now we need to attach the horns to this so to this section so what we need to do now is we need to make sure that this is this way up and then the horns go on the inside of here so the first one is the one that sits down flat, so that's fine. Um, it wants to sit, I think it goes on this back piece here, yeah, so it goes on this back piece here. So the first one just sits in here like this, and that's again held in by HP screw. So we're just going to go ahead and do that quickly. There we go, so that just goes into place like so. And then there's another one, 
which we're going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this off because it has that bracket where you don't even need to worry too much. I'm going to just start off the screw. So it goes in this one here. I'm going to start it off because it has this hook. So you can hook it underneath, put it in place and then screw it down afterwards, which is perfect. There you go. So that goes like that, an angle. And then the two horns should look a little bit like that, where they're sort of like against each other. So there you go. So they should look like that. You see that? There you go. So right, once you've done that, guys, you will need to now go from the other side, which is this side. And then we need to place the radiator on there from the last issue that we did. And then that radiator will should sit just on top of there which is fine it's kind of like two holes for it to sit onto um, but if you line it up nicely you'll see that it goes in the top two holes and the bottom two holes so that's fine so we're going to have to do this as we go so they're held in by dp screws so i'm just going to take a dp screw and just start one off at the top and then the best thing to do is to just start them all off and then finish them off afterwards so I'm just going to put this one on now. Just get them started. And then we can tighten them up in the end. Let's get this one started too. And another DP screw just in there. And then what we'll do is we'll just hold it nicely, not push against these little tabs because that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to damage those little tabs and then we'll go around and we'll, we'll tighten them up. But you don't want to tighten them up too much. You just want to tighten them up. Remember this is just plastic, just enough so that it's holding it into place. So that's that one, that's that one, switch it around. No matter how you hold it, just hold it in a way where you don't break anything off, where your fingers are not gonna you know, hold something tight and smash it. Right, so I'm not sure whether it's telling us to put that hose anywhere. So I guess we're going to have to keep that hose somewhere safe because it hasn't said whether to use it or not. We are going to just double check. Okay, so no, we do get to use the hose. That's fine. Right, so once that's done, guys, that should look a little bit like this. So that should look like that. And then on the back, it should look like this. And then it's asking us to get the big boy over. Again, we're going to have to do the old bit down. And then we need to try and find, we're going to have to bring it into place over here. We need to try and find, so if this is this way around, which is cool, uh, it's asking us to put it onto the bit where this goes and then it comes off the top of there so there is a pipe down there i don't know how the hell we're going to get to that because that is really tight down there so yeah that's a nice challenge for us we probably will need the tweezers to put that on um because i feel like mine is possibly facing the wrong way because it's supposed to be facing this way i don't know whether i can get it off and then maybe put it back on i'm going to get the tweezers guys because we will need them, so you will need your tweezers. And it's going to be hard to show you where this goes, but I will take the camera off at the end and show you where it goes. Um, I'm not too sure whether I should even just take that bit off, but I'm going to push this in the end. Like that. Grab them like that and then pop it on and then I'm gonna have to take the camera off and show you. I'll show you a, a, a result of it away from the vehicle and then I'll show you one of it close up to it as well. Right, so there you go, so that's in place there, so that's that. So at that stage, your vehicle should look like that with that on there and then you should have the radiator looking a little something like that. And then what we'll do is I'll end the video here, but I will go over this and show you what it looks like so you can see where it went.
But guys, um, that's all we need to do in that stage. I can't wait to do issue 26 with you where we're gonna do the control box battery and the oil reservoir and get those installed into the front of this vehicle. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Can't wait to do that with you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next issue. Take care now. So guys, as promised, I just wanna show you where that pipe went. So I don't know if you can see just on the top of um, that piece there, just here. We had to put that pipe on there and that's where it's sitting at the moment here just not going anywhere so that's the bit that it wants you to install so make sure you do that see you real soon